Hi everyone, I'm TC, welcome to my channel. I just finished a few pages in a couple of my colouring books so I thought I'd just do a, a very quick video and show you what I've done. So to start with we've got Millie Marotta's Tropical Wonderland and the first picture is done with Derwent Inktense and a little bit of, tiny little bit of metallic there on the body on the blue there and a tiny very very sparse sprinkling of glitter but I do like the way this came out I used all autumny colors so I think it's okay it's not it's not too good but it's not too, too bad so somewhere in the middle there it's okay it's passable but I will say one thing about these Millie Marotta books I know a lot of people absolutely love them and I, I did too at the beginning, but I find that the paper is just so hard to work with. Whether I use expensive pencils or the cheapest pencils, it makes no difference. The paper is just so slippery, it's, it's really hard trying to get it to go on. So after I've finished showing the, you these few little pictures in here that I've just done, I'm going to sadly say goodbye to my little book and... I'm going to pop it in the recycling bin, which is kind of sad because the pictures in here are so nice, but I just can't be trying to work with the paper. It's just really frustrating, you know, and so I thought if you're not really enjoying it, then it's really no point in doing it. And I do love colouring, so I'm just going to bin it and move on to one of my new books, which I'm really looking forward to because the new one that I'm going to be using has got really nice watercolour paper in. We'll see how that one goes. Anyway, that's enough of my rambling. On to the next page. I did these feathers using Faber-Castell, just the cheap, very cheap ones. And a little bit of gel pen in the middle of the feathers, you know, the little bit that goes right down the middle. And the tiniest little bit of glitter just around there, just on the very edges. Just a tiny little bit, not too much. This one I'm quite happy with because I used highlighter fluorescent highlighters for this one and they had the really big chunky chisel tips on them so i had to be really careful trying to get into the little tiny you know all the little tiny spaces and it was a little bit of a challenge but i did that and i do like the way it came out i think it looks really pretty all the lovely fluorescence and there is a little bit of um, glitter on there you can see that i'm pretty sure that shows up i did quite a well i didn't do quite a lot but i did a, a few bits can see that in there and on there I think they come out quite nicely so I really like the way that one came out I think the colors look lovely it's kind of trippy and psychedelic -y, so a little bit different next we have the coloring book for grown-ups and fairies there's a lot of fairies in this book so i'm not i'm not a huge fairy fan but i do like being able to i just find it quite amusing doing them in different colors you know like none of my fairies are ever skin colored they're always colored purple or blue or green or yellow or orange or anything like that but they're never usually skin color and i think that makes it more fun and just a little bit more interesting so this one i just used I think I just used um, Prismacolors and perhaps some very cheap Faber-Castell and as you can see just the tiniest little bit of glitter there on her wings, tiny little bit around those flower pods and a little bit on her little dress there. I think that shows up, I hope it shows up, some pink and silver glitter. So I was quite happy with the way that one turned out. This one was a little bit disappointing because I used my ink tense, but the picture came out quite flat. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like a little bit dull and flat. There's not much oomph to it, if that's the word. I don't know. It just It's a little bit dull and dreary, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe it's just my choice of colours. And I did go over it with a, the tiniest little bit of glitter. I think you could just about pick up a little bit of glitter around the leaves and stuff in the middle of the flowers. 
just a tiny bit, not too much. I do like the brown colours though, in the ink tense, I love all the earthy colours, I think they're really pretty. Another fairy. I used ink tense for this one again, and some glitter. I tried not to use too much glitter, but I think I did use a bit too much in the end. And the ink tents was, I put that on probably a little bit too wet, so it's kind of buckled the paper. But I quite like the colours, the colour combinations. And I think she is almost a skin colour fairy, but she's actually, it was more of a peach colour that I was trying to go for rather than a skin colour, but I think it's kind of peachy orange, so that's okay. For this fairy, I used Derwent ink tents again, and just a little bit of metallic pen, gel pen and a little bit of glitter, just a very small amount of glitter. I quite like that, it's not too bad. It's not too bright, but it's not too dull. I think it's quite nice, quite happy with the way it came out. Her skin does look a little bit grey. I don't know how that happened because I used a pretty lilac colour. Maybe it was just the way it soaked into the paper and it sort of went a little bit dark, but overall I'm quite happy with it. I like the flowers. I do like the effect of the flowers, the glitter and the metallic. That looks quite pretty. And her little shoes, I put a little, little bit of pink glitter on her shoes. So what have we got next? A dragon. Nothing special about that one. I just used uh, basic cheap coloured pencils and a little bit of metallic pen. I can see a little bit of a glittery metallic pen in there. I really enjoyed this one. She's such a pretty little fairy. I love her little face. She's so pretty. And I love her little pumpkin dress. I did each pumpkin a different shade of orange. And there's just the tiniest little bit of gold glitter on her hat, her little pumpkin hat. Don't know if you can see that. I think it shows up. It should show up. I hope it shows up. And then a little tiny bit of the tiniest, tiniest little amount of um, fluorescent orange gel pen on her little toes for her little toenail polish. Can you see that? hope you can see that. So this is my favourite in the whole book so far. I think it came out so nicely. And her green skin, I'm so happy with the way that came out as well. The shade and the dark and... You know, it just looks really pretty. If you look really carefully, you can see she's got very pale peach eyeshadow and some matching sort of tangerine colour lipstick. Not lipstick, because fairies don't wear makeup. They're just naturally pretty, so they have pretty coloured lips and they look like they're wearing makeup, but they're not really. They're just very, very pretty. I really enjoyed doing this one. She, she's a gorgeous little fairy. Very, very pretty. That's a really good fun one. Some butterflies. I don't know what happened there. They came out kind of dull. As you can see, they're not terribly, terribly bright. There is the tiniest little bit of glitter, and even that didn't show up. I don't know why. I don't know why that happened. Sometimes they come out really bright, and other times they come out a little bit dull. I don't know why. I did actually add those little notes myself, if you couldn't already tell. I mean, they're not fantastic, that's for sure. And I put a little bit of purpley pink glitter just over them. I hope that shows up. Does it show up? I don't know. I'm not sure that it does show up, but there is purple glitter there. And there's a little bit of glitter on the birds. There's some, some blue on him and some purple and yellow and gold on the other ones. I'm not sure if that shows up or not, but there we go. And that was just a very, very cheap Faber-Castell pencil that I used there. So that's all I've got to show you for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, maybe you could give it a like and maybe consider subscribing. That would be really, really great. And thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye.